This rescue mission centers on five lions living in depressing conditions in the town of Baia Mare in Romania. For the last two years, they've been kept in these enclosures, a few hundred square meters of concrete floors and walls and steel bars, little bigger than a suburban apartment. And for the majority of that time, their only human contact has been with veterinarian Dr. Adin Miklaus. He knows their history ever since they first came to Baia Mare. They were taken in the year 2002 in Baia Mare. The age is approximately two years. But this is not relative to this, because on the certificate it was written two years. I think I'm a little older. Those age estimates apply to the three older lions, Petrica, Lavinia and Lydia. They're siblings and originally performed as part of the Romanian state circus. But in 2002, the male, Petrica, attacked their trainer and they were no longer wanted. At that point, Dr. Miklaus brought them to the Baia Mare City Zoo. Initial, I'm going to say two, but we're three and we have space. Baia Mare is a small city of approximately 130,000 people in the northwest of Romania. Its zoo was one of 36 in the country. But when Romania became part of the European Union in 2007, that all changed. At that point, uh, a lot of legislation has to be put in place. And one of the, of the pieces of legislation that was necessary for Romania to, um, to implement was the zoo directive. That directive specified certain minimum standards that all zoos had to meet if they were to continue to operate, with one of the most important standards being the welfare of the animals. Like so many zoos in Romania, Baia Mare did not come up to scratch. The zoological grounds were built in 1950, and the costs were very small. Not having authorization from the media, not having space for their own animals. Located in the old part of Baia Mare, the zoo had no more space it could access, and the local council had limited funds to work with. There were different attempts to, to buy more land or to, to find other solutions, but at the end, of course, with no budget and of not, not being the, most prior, the biggest priority of the city, that was the decision of the council to, to close the zoo. The EU legislation states that when a zoo has to close, the animals should be relocated to other institutions which meet the standards. If that isn't an option, then the animals should be euthanized. That was the situation Dr. Miklaus and his colleagues faced back in 2013. And it truly was a compromise. The council was sympathetic to the plight of the lions and allocated them vacant buildings and yards with a plant nursery on one side and a rubbish dump on the other. Their new quarters consisted of two dark indoor cages and a small outside area where they could exercise. While the lions had been saved from being put down, they'd ended up in even worse conditions than were at the zoo. Deci, la grădina zoologică, totuși avea un spațiu cam cel puțin de 3-4 ori mai mare decât aici. The closure of the zoo also meant they no longer had access to regular veterinary care or good quality food. The council continued to provide a small budget for meat, but no other funding. So all the care, the daily feeding, the cleaning of the enclosure, that has all been done by Dr. Miklaus. Nu, de doi ani de zile nu pot să plec, pentru că cu doi ani de zile nu mai s-a desfințat grădina zoologică, iar colegii au plecat în altă parte. Dr. Miklaus began searching for a new home for his lions, and that's when he got in touch with Four Paws. When the call for, for rescuing them came to us, we visited them and it was clear that this can't 
last for long because the situation was deteriorating really visible from, from, from a week to another. And especially the winters were very hard there because it was very wet, it was very dark and very cold. And as they are not very young, they are not the parents are 15 years old. This has a very big impact and is deteriorating very fast the, the condition of the, of the animal. At Four Paws headquarters in Austria, the staff were assigned the complex task of organizing the transport of five lions across international borders. Their destination, the Lion's Rock Sanctuary in South Africa. Now the rescue mission is about to start. Dr. Miklaus has been given instructions as how to best prepare the lions for their journey. In mod normal consumă carne de cal, dar acum având în vedere că mâine vor urma să fie tranquilizați, am optat pentru niște uh, plămâni, niște organe, ca să fie o, o mâncare mai ușoară, mai slim. Having cared for them for so long, Dr. Miklas has become attuned to subtle changes in their health, their moods and their eating habits. Ah, Petrica nu e interesat. Este mai slab un pic acum, are o perioadă întotdeauna, în perioada spre iarnă, parcă slăbea un pic. Nu-mi dau seama, probabil și vârsta, dar nici nu este interesat de mâncare, deci... The five lions are split into two groups. Petrica and his mate Lavinia live as a pair. And their offspring, Marine and Tahon, keep company with 15-year-old Lydia, the sibling of the parents. This division began back in Bayamare Zoo when Marine and Tahon were born in 2003. At that time, there was a risk Patrika, the father, would attack the small cubs. Having two groups in such a small facility has made it difficult for Dr. Miklaus to manage them, particularly when it comes to recreation. The larger space outside provides an area for exercise, fresh air and natural light but they can't all occupy it at the same time. Deci erau făcuți cu rândul, încercam să-i țin pe ei o săptămână înăuntru pe ăștia, să le dădeam drumul consecutiv afară. Deci intrau și ieșau pe rând. The father Patrika has a preference for being outside and that makes him reluctant to go inside for food. Dar duce la mâncare, dar se teme că îl închid iar. În momentul în care mă duc acolo, el va intra. În momentul în care vin acolo, el iese afară să uită la mine. De obicei, de aia am întotdeauna la felinele mari, lucrează doi oameni, no, dar acum, cum n-am avut, e destul de greu să mergi acolo, să vii aici. These kinds of issues won't be a problem when they move to their new home in South Africa. Mă bucur că vor ajunge într-un loc propriu, parecum m-am și, și atașat de ei, dar în mod cert trebuie să ajungă acolo unde le este locul.